Now I want to continue our discussion of using a Brother Pete design next along with a cutwork design from an existing company and the Brother PR cutwork tool. In the previous tutorial I showed you you could simply find the placement line that another company wanted you to manually cut the shape out and using the applique fabric button with the little scissors here down at the bottom you could change that stitch line into a cutting line and then your PR machine with the cutwork kit would use the little needles or chisels to cut that shape out for you. It's a very slick way of doing it however it's not the best way of doing it. The best way takes a little more work but what that provides you with is a nice stabilized edge for it to cut out. Let me show you what I mean. Now I'm going to take that same exact design that we used in the previous tutorial and I'm going to zoom in so I can see that area it wants to cut out. I can see this black line going around the inside of my heart that I need a good design wants me to cut out so that I can do the fancy stitching over top of the area and create a lace-like cutwork effect. I'm going to go here to my line region tool and select the first one. It's just a simple closed straight line. It's very easy to use. And I'm just going to go right over top and just click with my left mouse button following as close as I can. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent. You just want it to follow along that same area. I can see those big brown satin stitches. They're going to cover up any stitch as long as I'm not too far off. So I'll just keep going around. You're going to use the same procedure if you have a cutwork design that has multiple areas to cut. You're just going to do this in each area individually until you get the whole machine cut out at one time. Once you get to the end, you're going to hit the enter button and that's going to activate and convert that line to stitches basically. Once that's done, I'm going to turn off the tool by going back to select at the top. And now I can see my wizards have popped up so that I can use them. I just hit the cut work wizard. I tell it that I want a stabilized cut edge. I want the machine to cut out the shape. I don't need to worry about stabilizer or fills or covering stitches because I need a good design has already done that in this particular design. It has beautiful satin stitching and wonderful stitching around it. So I don't need to add any of that. This is kind of if you're doing it yourself from scratch in designing a design. So once I have my stabilized cut edge activated and my cutting line activated, I'm going to click OK and it's going to place those for me and I can see it's added those two steps down at the very bottom of my design but I need those steps to stitch out first so I'm going to click on step number four and I'm just going to drag it to the very top and I'm going to click on step number five and notice it has the cutwork icon next to it letting me know that it has turned on the machine needles that's all done with the chisel needles not with regular embroidery I'll pull that up to number two so now it's going to stitch a placement line, my stabilized cut edge. It's going to cut out the shape. But I want to get rid of step number three here because that's the old placement line. I don't want it to stitch another placement line. So I'm going to select the object and I'm going to convert it to blocks. What this is doing is taking the Anita Good design and separating it into different parts so I don't delete the whole design because I want to keep all the fancy stitching. I'm just going to use normal. Once I've done that, I can click this again and hit select object. And now I can see it's just highlighted that one object. And I delete it and it's gone. Once that's gone, I'm going to save my file. Name it something I'll remember. Now I would take that to my machine. When the machine's stitching it out, I can follow along with the stitch limiter down here at the bottom. It will stitch a placement line and then it will cut. You can see it's got my little cutwork needles cutting away there. And once it cuts out that shape, it'll continue on and stitch all that pretty stitching that I need a good design added to that cutwork. I'm just going to go to the end here so you can see the finished result. And you have a stabilized cut edge beautifully cut out shape 
and a finished design.